Yo, my boys. I'm Zaya. I'm Carl. Silver Sky takes it to the streets. Today, we're going to ask the public one question containing one truth and two lies. Do you think they can make it? We'll find out. But first, vibe check. Right, okay. Yeah, can you introduce yourself? Mendino. Mendino. Yes. That's a really nice name. Can I call my son that by the way? So today's segment is about one state one question with three statements. Two of them being a lie and one of them being a truth. Question number one. All dogs want you to pet them. Dogs eat grass because they are sick. Dogs can run up to 72 kilometers per hour. Pick your truth. The second one. <laughs> the last one. <laughs> Dogs can run up the same Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Also it. Yes. Dogs are speedy. They when they chase after you, like you know, you feel like you wanna die like that. So there's only one truth, right? So I think the last one is the truth. That, that sounds the most realistic. Number three. Well, what about number one? All dogs want you to pet them. I got chased by a few dogs. I don't think they want me to pet them. Okay, for that, press F, bro. 70 miles km per hour, that one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, because they run quite fast. Well, yeah, dogs eat grass, then they get sick, right? I think my dog ate the grass one, then he got sick. Do you know that humans also eat grass? When, when we have no money in our bank account? Uh, the last one is the truth. Actually, you're correct. Oh. <laughs> dogs can run up to 72 km per hour, but it's only one specific breed. Known as the Greyhound. Oh, oh. Yeah, if it's Corgi and Poodle, I think it's quite scary. Yeah. <laughs> Garlic prevents flea on dogs. A dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's mouth. Last one. Puppies are born blind and deaf. The last one. Are you looking at my phone? You sure? I saw you. I saw you peeping through my phone. I think I'll go with the same as him. The blind and deaf one. The third one. I think the third one also. Hmm, I'm thinking puppies blown by but I think I'll go for number two, the cleaner than human mouth. I guess because they, they eat so much crap, right? They, they should have more antibodies in there. That's, that's what I'm assuming. Puppies are born blind and deaf. Because the other two don't sound very legit. Oh, yeah, I think also the puppies are born blind and deaf. Oh, same. Blind and deaf, yeah. Is this uh, some kind of group thing going on? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I, uh, actually, I won't question. You guys are from Huachong, right? Intelligence plus 200. Negative 200. <laughs> the first one is the truth. Probably probably the fleas doesn't like the smell. Uh, fleas are like vampire? Uh, yeah, maybe. So actually the answer is number three. Uh, Your puppies are born blind and deaf until two weeks uh, old. Cats are nocturnal. Cats like to be alone and unloving like dogs. A cat has gone to space before. Yeah. Uh, like, what does it mean? Like, uh, the space, you know, like the atmosphere, out of the outer space. Uh, yes. Oh, oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'll take the last one. I'll take the last one. You sure? Yeah, I will take that. I think it's one. Just, I mean, cats. They're mostly active during the night. I just, I just want to believe that there's a cat out there in space that they send some cat into space, lah. I want to believe. <laughs> I think the first one, they're nocturnal. They're nocturnal? Well, why do you say so? Because I used to have a cat, then well, every time 4 a.m. they would keep meowing at my door, then very annoyed. <laughs> are you a nocturnal creature? Or are you the guy, kind of guy that rises up in the morning? Uh, in the morning person. High five. I'm just gonna say that one. Do you think a cat has gone to space oh, before? No, it's okay. It's okay. I just like. Yeah, I don't know actually. Um, the first one. Yeah. Would you relate more to a cat or a dog? Um, a dog. Uh, neither, because I can't run fast and I can't see in the dark. Is it the first one? Um, cats are nocturnal. Wait, okay, never mind. Number two, number two, number two. Uh, mine is number three. Uh, number three or so. I see, I see a division, I see polarity, I like that. My cats are no annoying. <laughs> they don't like me, yeah. Can you give me your best meow? No. 
I think, yeah, I think the last one is the truth. I remember something. You got it right. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, actually, so actually in 1963, a cat actually gone to space. Yeah, yeah, that's what yes. I remember. I remember All right. Then, then the cat is known as Felicet. Yeah, I think it's French or uh, or Russian. But I think it's the sad thing, right? The cat went to space, came back three months later, killed. Yeah, because they they were like cracking his head for like brain activities and stuff. One last favor, can I get a ho yeah? Ho yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Namaste, fam. Today was an enlightening experience, and if you think that I should ask some other questions, boggle their heads. Drop it in the comment section below, and if you like our videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace. <laughs>